Hey beautiful soul, hope you're doing fabulous today. This is day 3 in Montreal and this day I started with going to the Nelly Cafe for breakfast. So my hotel had arrangements with this hotel to serve breakfast. On the previous day, I got my breakfast delivered to our hotel room. But this day, I wanted to see what I was missing. This place is so beautiful. I wish I had come here before. Bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Quickly after the breakfast, I went back to the hotel, got dressed. Okay, so we are heading to the Royal Garden of Montreal. <laughs> I can't believe I said it wrong. It's Montreal Botanical Garden. And this is what I'm wearing. Because it's going to be very cold outside. Though it's very sunny, but still it's going to be cold. Did you notice I've been lost? Staying up to the break of dawn Hoping that you'll show a little warmth But you know I feel the coldest when I'm wrapped around your finger, did you notice that you put me through the wrinkle when you said that you need to solace that I can't offer you? I found the light in all this, something to give you. Do you know the garden? Maybe you need to take a picture of my mom because it's my last one. Okay. This garden is huge and you definitely need a map or at least an idea about the garden so that you don't get lost. When you enter the garden, after a while you will be greeted by the roses. The garden reminded me heavily of a catalogue of rose plants that I had seen maybe 20 years ago at my best friend's house and since then I have always wanted a garden arch covered with delicate little roses. I have never seen these many kinds of roses in my life. I was in love with them. They were so gorgeous. I could spend the whole day sitting over there but we had a lot more to see. So the next stop is the Chinese garden. Entering the Chinese garden was an enchanting moment. So first you will be greeted by these two lions. Left one is the female who is holding a little cup under her paw. And then the right one is a male which is holding a sphere under his paw. To enter the garden, first you will enter through this corridor, which is a transition place. It's going to separate you from the outer world to what's coming up next. Entire Chinese garden is full of Chinese symbolism. It's like such a beautiful painting. The elements of this garden has been selected to represent Chinese art of landscape design. Honestly, I do not have any knowledge about it, but this place is majestic yet very near to nature. Walking through this path, you'll come across this little strolling garden. This garden didn't have any flower and it didn't have to have any. All it had was this melodious serenity. It was so calm and peaceful. We spent there a couple of minutes before starting for the Japanese garden.
Japanese garden was such a contrast than the Chinese garden. It's pure, simple, calm, and a perfect place to recollect your thoughts and meditate. There was so much serenity, which is definitely going to transfer to even to the most energetic ones. Moving forward, we reached this place, the First Nations Garden. Their garden represents their culture, music, and their lifestyle. The First Nations Garden allows us to discover the traditions, wisdom, and know-how of the first inhabitants of North America. Due to the time of the season, we could not spend more time exploring the entire garden. However, visiting the three cultural gardens were just like being teleported to other worlds. Hi, Ayan. Hi, Ayan. This is the last evening in Montreal. So we are going to go outside. I have included video of this evening in my previous video. If you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch it now. So this is the last video of Montreal series. I cannot believe I'm finally done with the videos. Hope you watched all of them. If you haven't, go to the description box below and there will be links to all other videos. Hopefully in future I will get to go to Montreal again because I am not done with this city. I have to go back there. Until then, I'll keep watching these videos.